we're back here. Um, welcome back to the channel. I can't believe we're already at nine subscribers. Uh, that's pretty pretty dope after the first day. So uh, thank you for that. If you're not subscribed already, hit the subscribe button. I'm going to be trying to do this as much as possible. Um, again, I'm just going to think about it once a day. But yesterday, I think I made three videos just because I had the time and I did uh, different sports. So right now, we're looking at the uh, the last bet we did yesterday for MLB or the bet we did yesterday. We went five or six, so we did pretty pretty well. This Jake Irvin pick, we knew they were going against the Braves, or he was going against the Braves. Um, so that one was always scary. But the numbers showed. We did the analysis, and uh, we went with it. He, uh, he ended up biting us a little bit, but Barrios did his thing. The New York hit him well. Um, Judge got, I forget exactly, I think he had a double. Um, but he did his thing. And, oh, the, the biggest sweat was Rooker. Rooker was, it was the bottom of the ninth. And I think Olaf or Olaf or something bats in front of him, and there was two outs. And if Olaf got, if he got out, the uh, game would have been over. So I was, I was watching that, and he ended up getting a single. So I was like, oh, okay, let's go. At least he's got a chance. Um, and if you remember, if you watched last video, he Rooker had hit four home runs in the last eight games. So that was one thing we were looking for. And he'd also hit a home run against the pitcher he was facing. So um, he stepped up, bottom of the ninth. He went down 0-2, um, but then he, he ended up hitting a bomb. So he got the homer. He, uh, as you can see, four bases. So he crushed that line. Uh, Goldschmidt did his thing. Horner did his thing. He did it early, pretty uh, pretty early, I'm pretty sure. Uh, single, double, base on balls. That's all it's going to do it. Ten, ten points right there. So we did really well. We're going to try to replicate this again. Maybe go six for six. But, uh, yeah, so let's dive into the picks. Let's go to the board here. MLB. First pick is going to be a pitcher pick. Going to be Shane Justin Bieber. Shane Bieber. Uh, more than four strikeouts. Let's hop over to Outlier. Bieber. Yeah, his line on Outlier is a four and a half. This is, uh, this is not, this is K's. His line on Outlier is four and a half. It's a plus 130. Don't be afraid of that uh, because the line is 4.0 on prize picks. If we go and look at over four, three and a half, this would be the push. It's minus 225, really heavily, heavily favored to uh, to get at least that four. And as you can see, he actually loves to get four. So four strikeouts here, four strikeouts here. 80% of his last 10, he's got at least four strikeouts, usually more. I think the head-to-head -head matchup, yeah. Um, this was early in the year, he got four. And then this is a few years ago, but again, he got 11. So he has that capability as well. But last 10, 80% 80, 80 of the time, he's getting more than uh, three and a half strikeouts, so he'll be get that push. But he can get those uh, higher numbers here as well. When we look at the um, when we look at the matchup here, his strikeouts per nine goes up to nine. So again, another good sign here. His typical strikeouts per nine is 7.31. It goes up to nine against um, against Cleveland here. Cleveland, I believe, doesn't strike out very much is the only thing. Or he's, oh, he's on Cleveland, my bad. Against Baltimore. This always confuses me. Baltimore at Cleveland should be the other way around. Yeah, so against Baltimore, which we can go over here and check. Baltimore's middle of the road, 8.42 strikeouts per game. Um, so that's, that's another okay. It's not like they don't strike out uh, a lot at all. They're middle of the pack. And again, we can look at this. All reds here. So a lot of reds, a lot of strikeout potential, 33%, even 20% for McCann, 28, 40, 25, 31, 66, 50, 50, 42, 33. Uh, pretty decent history here in terms of at-bats uh, and a lot of red strikeouts. So that's really, really good to see. So first pick, Shane Bieber over 4.0 fantasy or, uh, strikeouts. Love to see that. Now let's jump into the next guy, another, another pitcher. We're going to do hits allowed on this one. Bryce Miller hits allowed over. They're going up against the Rangers. Let me get this guy up here. Uh, Miller. Miller hits allowed four and a half. Okay, so again, another one, four and a half. Really favored to go over this four and a half um, to get to that five mark. Last 10, again, 80% has gone over that four and a half. So push, push, even these, even these green fives. Um, and then these other ones are obviously over. Let's look at, this is against Dave Dunning. Let's go Bryce Miller. 
look at this. 50%, 500, 500, 500, 1, 500, 500. These guys are one for one, one for one, two, one for two, one for two. All these guys are green, um, which means a lot of hits. If we go look at his, again, this is Dade Dunning. I don't know why he keeps doing that. <laughs> look at his earned runs, 27.0 against the Rangers. 7.71 strikeouts. That doesn't really matter. We're just looking for hits here. I think he easily gets this 5.0 line. Um, does he have a head-to-head? -head? Yeah, he faced them earlier in this year in June, uh, and they hit him eight eight times. So really, really good to see that. Um, but yeah, so Bryce Miller over hits allowed. Uh, Valdez is our next pitcher. He's going to be our last pitcher as well. Strikeout 6.0. We're going under here. Let's go check him out and see why. They're going up against Kansas City. Valdez. Um, so yeah, you can see 6.5 is the line here. Um, let's see if we can get... Yeah, and over 5.5 is a minus 6. So it's really... The odds are pressing, pressing against that 6.0 line, which is what we're getting in at prize picks. Um, he's gone under this in 80% of the time. So again, this is three in a row where we've seen 80% of the time going our way. This is the only one that even would have pushed, which doesn't hurt us anyway. Um, everything else has been completely under. Does he have a head-to-head? -head? He does have a head-to-head, -head and he's faced him the other day. Faced him five days ago. They got He got 5Ks. Uh, even if he got 6Ks, again, that's a push. He has to get 7Ks to hurt us. Um, and then if we look at the matchups here, they hit him pretty well. They actually hit him pretty well. So that's good to see. A lot of green. Um, and these K rates, there are some red ones down here at the bottom. Uh, Bywit Jr. with, what is that, two strikeouts, Blanco, but one strikeout. Nothing. It's not like these numbers are like 15 at-bats, you know. Um, and then a lot of these guys have zero. So, again, based on the head-to-head the -head here and the last 10, we're really, really liking this line. Um, I guess he has the potential to pop off like this, but... Again, he hasn't done it too much. Um, even this even this six one would be a push for us again. So really, really liking uh, Valdez here. Um, so yeah, moving on. Oh, we can also check out Kansas City. I think they're middle of the road in terms of strikeouts. So yeah, literally 14th. Um, so that's, again, it's not like they strike out all the time. So yeah, that's our next guy. We're going to move to batters here. We're going to check out Freddie Freeman. We're doing a Spandy score over 8.0. Uh, let's go check him out here. Freddie Freeman. Freeman. They are going up against a pitcher, the entire Dodgers team, that they just absolutely... Let's just jump right into it. Against this... Yeah. Against Manea, they just crushed this dude. Look at all this green. 50. 538, 400, 364, 286, 800, 286, 333, like all these guys are green. Very, very few of them are red. And again, decent amount of at-bats, 7, 13, 10, 11, and so on. You're 14, 18 down here. Um, I was looking at bets. The only reason I'm not touching bets is just because he's been so bad lately. Just <laughs> He's been really bad lately. Um, I think his hits, runs, and RBIs, he's literally gone over in one of these games. Freddie hasn't gone you know, too much more. If you look, though, his line's at 2.5, so that means he's doing something right. Typically, a hits, runs, and RBI's lines are at 1.5. Um, we can't look at fantasy score specifically here, um, but I just think he, there's so much potential to crush this guy. And then if we look Freeman specifically, he's one of the better ones, too. 364 in 11 at-bats with a home run and two RBI's. Doesn't strike out too much at all. Um, so I just think there's a lot of potential for him to... For him to, you know, get RBIs, for him to get hit in, get a run, um, to get hits. Uh, and I think he, he has, like, 20 stolen bases on the year, too. So he, he might be able to sneak in a stolen base as well. So just a lot of potential for fantasy points for Freddie. Um, so we're going over for him for the for the fourth pick here. Next guy we're looking at, we're going to be looking at Matt Olson. And another another pitcher pitcher matchup that I just love for the Braves here. Let's go check out Olsen. Um, Acuna is another one to look at for this for this guy, or for this uh, matchup. Yeah, against Patrick Corbin. Again, they just crushed this dude in so many at-bats. Uh, a lot of history here. 16-30. I really wanted this Albies line. He's off the board now. 
but he had a line for, I think, 1.5 earlier in the day. Um, and he just, I mean, 433, three home runs, 12 RBIs. That's just crazy. Um, but he, if he comes back on the board, definitely take Albies. Uh, Acuna is another one. I think his fantasy is at 10.5. The only thing is he's one of the only guys that don't hit well against this dude. And Acuna, a guy for known for not striking out at all, 25% K rates in 32 at-bats against this dude. So, um... I don't know why Patrick Corbin is only good against uh, Acuna. That being said, I almost took Acuna's fantasy line anyway, uh, just because he's so, so good. Um, but we're going with Olsen. He's batting 512 at-bats against this dude. He has three RBIs. And again, just so much potential for people to be on base um, for Olsen to you know hit those guys in. He has been killing it. If we look at hits, runs, and RBIs, again, 2.5, not the usual 1.5 line. 60% of the time, he's gone over this line. So uh, this isn't fancy score specifically. Matt Olson's not going to steal a base. Um, he doesn't do that. I think he's like six foot five uh, and like 250 pounds or something. He's a bigger dude, not going to steal a base. But he just has so much potential for, for base runners, ducks on the pond, to maybe get a few RBIs, um, you know, get some hits, whatever he needs to do. All right. So that's Matt Olson. And then for our last pick, we are going to go another hitter here. We're going Jose. I always do that. He has like an accent on his name. Jose Ramirez, over 1.5. Hits, runs, and RBIs. Let's go check him out real quick. Um, Ramirez. Jose Ramirez. Uh, let's just get into his page here. Hits, runs, and RBIs. He's just been killing it. 70% of the time, he's gone over this 1.5. The odds are in the favor of uh, minus 125 there, so another good <clears throat> another good sign. Sorry. Um, and again, he's going up against our boy. Is he going up against Bieber? No, he's on the same team. No, he's, yeah, he is going up against he's going up against Kramer. So not a whole lot of history. He is actually batting 250 against him. He has an RBI, though, so not a whole lot of history. He's not hitting the best against him. Um, it's probably just under, under his normal average. Uh, yeah. So that's another thing I wanted to look at and show you. Against right-handed pitchers, Jose Ramirez is batting almost 300 against them. Um, so just another good sign right there. And when we look at Kramer, there's nothing shown here. But I really like this. Jose's been uh, doing well for me whenever I pick him. I think I just hit him on all these days. Uh just based off the matchup, so he's going up against uh, you know the the right-handed pitcher and Kramer. He bats almost 300 against him. He's been on a hate, hot streak, um, so I think he gets this pretty handily. Um, but yeah, that's our six picks. Uh, hope you guys like it. Tail them if you let if you do tail them. Let me know in the comments. I want to see comments. Uh, again, one day getting nine subscribers that's huge. It's it's pretty fun to see the the views and uh, you know when you get a like it, it feels really good. So. Um, definitely, definitely hit me up in the comment section. I'll respond to any of you guys. Uh, I have so many more plays. I wish I could give you, you know, 20 plays. Um, but here's my top six for the day. A couple pitchers, a couple batters. Um, but yeah, a lot of afternoon games today. So you got, you got time to get these in. Um, but yeah, let's go make some money tonight. Peace out.